right, so we've got the Doctor Strange mission. Let's see if we have any other one. Uh... Wait, what is this? Nope. This is not shield. Captain Marvel. Hydra. Aether. I think the yeah, the purple is the DLC, so and then this is the Agents of no. Yeah, Agents of Shield pack. And this is the old Ant Man one. So there is no Okay, there's no mission for Spider Man. Or the Spider Man pack, so okay, so it's just the two. So since Agents of Shield is alright, we're just gonna go with this one then. Agent May, log entry 1130. After trapping Dr. Zabo, Director Coulson used Cal's family connections to subdue the more beastly side of his nature. With Zabo on our side and S.H.I.E.L.D. finally working as a team, the rest was just cleanup. This is not the last we'll see of the Inhumans, but at least our team made it out intact. Where's Simmons? Haha, <laughs> where's Simmons? Well, that's season three. All right, good. All right, and with that over, we'll be going over to the Doctor Strange. The life of Doctor Strange. Sorcerer Supreme is rarely ordinary, and this day is no exception. Whilst deep in study of the Book of Ashanti, the Eye of Agamotto alerted me to intruders in my Sanctum Sanctorum. Mordo, that mystical menace, and being aided by Dormammu from the Dark Dimension, those fiends! What this gruesome duo don't know is that I too have an ally from the Dimension of Darkness. There is a chance that with the aid of the beautiful Clea, I could foil their dark purpose. By the hoary host of Hogan, they will learn what it means to tangle with the master of the mystic arts. My sanctum was under attack, and I had to defend it. I could keep his puppets at bay, but with Dormammu's power aiding him, Mordo's shield was impenetrable. My only hope was Clea in the Dark Dimension. Dark Dimension was a dangerous place, not only home to Dormammu, but also his minions. My amulet, the Eye of Agamotto, allowed me to pierce its veil, but alas, I could only watch, helpless. Fortunately for me, Clea was capable of almost anything.
Mama was distracted in Mordo's power wane. Unable to maintain his shield, he was left vulnerable. Now is my chance to strike. This was going to be no simple fight. I only hoped that Clea could continue to distract your mom to make Mordo vulnerable to me once more. the mystic moons of Manapur, Clea had done it again. I could feel Dormammu's rage echo across the dimensions.
Once more, Mordo fled from me. I hoped that Talia could find a more permanent distraction for Domamu, so I could end this. Mindless ones. Magical beings of immense strength and power with savage dispositions and minimal intelligence. Their only desire to fight and destroy anything and everything. Trapped in Dormammu's prison and ready to burst forth. No release. The mindless ones beset upon Dormammu. It would take all of his power to put them back into their prison. Power he could no longer spare for Mordo. It was time to face him. By the flames of Baltine, he would learn what it meant to cross Doctor Strange, Sorcerer Supreme. Denied the power of his demonic cohort, Mordo soon fled. No doubt he would return with some fresh devilment, but I had more pressing problems. 
The Sanctum Sanctorum was a mess, and I had guests arriving at eight. If only I hadn't given Wong the night off. As I prepared the hors d'oeuvres, my mind drifted to Clea, my silver-haired ally. I prayed a chance to repay the considerable debt I owed her would present itself. Little did I know that it would take an eternity for that to happen. But that, my friends, is another story. <laughs>